Every word Thomas Tuchel said on Chelsea vs Aston Villa, Werner, Alonso, Mendy's fitness and Saul, the Blues head coach faced the media ahead of the Carabao Cup third round game against Aston Villa and here is every word he had to say. Can Edouard Mendy play tomorrow and will your team selection have one eye on the Man City match this weekend? Mendy cannot play, he was not in training so far. We'll try to do everything for Saturday, and to reintegrate him tomorrow to individual training and then hopefully Thursday into team training. But not yet, but it's a matter of the amount of games, the load that we've had for the players. Yes we will have some changes because we take the opportunity to give important minutes in important competition to guys who are missing minutes at the moment. You and your team are in a very good place, does the balance and depth in the squad make you even core serious contenders? I don't know if more serious or not, we are serious, we are doing things seriously, and if we play a competition we play to win it. This is what we are and what the club demands. This does not change, we are in the moment in a good place because we work hard and we value the opportunities that we have. The group is strong at the moment, and we have to take care of that every single day. It's not a given and it doesn't last forever. We need to improve, everybody will improve and we cannot stand still. Preview. Timo Werner on the bench for the last five games, how do you see his role in the squad? He can play with Romelu, he did very well at Tottenham. That gave us a clear impression of how dangerous these two can also be together. There was some disappointment to brush off his shoulders from the Euros during the summer and from the first games I think he was not happy with the performances in the beginning. We know that he can be much more dangerous and much more of an attacking threat than he was. But in the last training sessions he's been more relaxed, more fluid in his movements, and showing more confidence. That's why we put him on early against Tottenham, because we saw this development and there are clear signs that he is on a good way and I hope he can show and prove it tomorrow. Preview. Marcos Alonso's decision not take the knee, do you like those discussions to take place among the group? It is not one within the group but of course if a player takes a decision like this then we are not in a bubble, of course, it will come up. The most important for me is that I know Marcos personally and I trust him 1000% that he is absolutely committed against racism and any form of it. There is no question about it. We are all against it. We took the decision together to take the knee, maybe sometimes it takes an action against a routine to wake up again and have another discussion. All of us have the same point, to do the most against racism and stand up against it so there are different ways of doing it. Marcos took his decision, he is a grown-up and responsible person. This is his position, we accept it. He gave his reasons for it and either discussions can end or go on in a productive way. Can you understand his position that it is maybe lacking some strength now? Isn't it always like this? Once you do a gesture and then everybody is doing, then you do it so often because there are so many games it becomes normal and then maybe it lowers the effect of it. If this is his point then I can see his point, we can now discuss if, if it is necessary if he is the only guy to stand up but I think he is aware of it. He is experienced enough and responsible enough and that's the way it is. This development started with single persons taking the knee then it became a bigger thing and I think Marcos point is that it can't stay like this. Marcos point is that it cannot end like this and that it cannot become normal. What should be normal is that we are all against racism and I understand that Marcos thinks there is always more to do that is also right. At the same time, of course we want to focus on sport but use our platform and the possibilities we have, how we produce performances together leading by example and I think this is the most important thing. Chance for Ruben Loftus-Cheek to play tomorrow. We gave him some minutes against Zenit. That was a close game, a Champions League opener for us and that wasn't a gift. I trust him because I see how he works and he adapts to his situation and what he makes out of it. He is very, very good on training. Tomorrow, there's a big chance he can show it on the pitch. Assume the same applies for Saul Niguez too. Now we are getting close to the lineup. Of course, we want to give Saul some minutes. First of all, the guys want to show and impress and keep on pushing. We need some players to have more competitive minutes and be a competitive team. We need them to have the opportunity to push some guys and to trust them also in a competitive cup match like tomorrow. Saul is one of them. 
Will Edouard Mendy be back in time to face Man City this weekend? Actually, I think it is possible but it is a bit of a race against pain and time. I hope he will be back in team training on Thursday. If it goes well, I hope he can be ready for Saturday but I don't know right now. You have made a substitute early or at half-time in your last three Premier League matches, a big part of your success. I hope it is a reason for the success as it would not look good for me if it is not. Sometimes, I have a lot of thoughts about it. You think if you do it at half-time or whether there will be developments in the game where you can wait longer. It also is a form of trust that you show to the bench that you have people who can instantly have an impact and change momentum. It is not a general thing and we are not waiting for it or looking to do as many early changes as possible. It is like you said, in-game coaching, and adapting to what the game and opponent offers, the spaces and tactical choices. Against Liverpool, it was necessary because of the red card. Then it was a bit unlucky for Saul against Aston Villa. Tottenham, we had Nagolo on the bench. We could have waited but when you have Nagolo, you want him on the pitch. There are different reasons. It is about whether it is the moment to do it to help the team. We are not shy to make the decisions but there will be matches where we will make late decisions because we are happy. Thiago Silva was outstanding against Spurs, what do you put his longevity down to? From the first day I met him in Paris and of course I am happy to have him here in the squad, he is a fantastic professional and was an outstanding captain. What a fantastic person and the approach from him to recovery, to live this life as a professional player is outstanding. What he eats, when he eats, how he recovers, how he trains. When he is on the pitch he trains full on. There is no training session where he is trying to hold back, he is one of the most intensive guys in training, physically. He gets better and better with his experience and to step out of what he knew and of his status in Paris, to step out of this and enter into the hardest competition in Europe at this age shows what a competitor he is. I don't look at age, we just look at performances and from there we don't care if you are super young or if you are a bit older like Thiago. This does not matter. He is in a very good moment since a long time and hopefully he can preserve this momentum and his performances because it was well deserved he was man of the match. Lukaku was almost willing Werner to score on Sunday, shows team spirit and how popular Werner is. It shows also how Romelu is. He knows how a striker feels that lacks goals. For me the most important thing was that Timo was in better positions and we had him in dangerous positions around Romelu. He was not too far out on the pitch and was in and around the box and he had his chances in the box and the assist, which was well done in the box. This is more important and more important is how he trains. Not only in pure quality of training but also the attitude. He moves more freely and his decision making has more confidence. Sometimes it needs a bit of time. Sometimes you don't have this one particular reason why things look a bit more easy, but Timo is in this moment. Also he can push himself and keep this momentum going. Everybody is happy if he can show his skills in front of goal. He can be dangerous and this is what we want. This is why he is here to be dangerous, to score goals and also to assist. And to create and open spaces with aggressive runs. This was a big step forward in the last game against Tottenham. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for up to date news from all around the globe. Thanks for watching, it was latest football news daily, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.